Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, BFR Tuesday. Now I'm going to keep it off. I am uh, I am seeing patients in the clinic, so uh, we're taking as many precautions as possible, but also trying to keep people healthy. And um, today, with all this craziness going on, I thought we would talk about how do we clean how do we clean these guys? Like, how do we, how do we sanitize and disinfect? And so I'm going to talk about a couple different ways uh, that we do here in the clinic. Um, then I'll take some questions. Uh, no PowerPoint today, but our, our, the first thing is, um, more than ever, I really recommend using something underneath the um, the BFR cuff. So, you know, we can put this directly on the skin or we can put it directly over clothes. Of course, you want the clothes to be super tight. You don't want to have a lot of wrinkles in it because um, it's going to be really uncomfortable. But if they're in a short sleeve shirt, it's going to get on their skin. So the best way to keep it sanitized because they are going to sweat is to use something underneath. And that something underneath can be a two-ply tensor bandage. So I just cut these in about six inch width, uh, six inch length for the upper extremity and eight inch length for the lower extremity. So let me show you what the roll looks like. Okay, so that's what a roll looks like this is this is the length for the lower extremity and I'm pretty sure these are eight inch but we'll double check it okay so six inch for the lower extremity is what I use and then for the upper extremity I use four inch. So let me show four right there, four inch. So when you order these, you can order them on Amazon, um, uh, Kramer Athletics, Medco, any of these. And it's just dual ply tensor that we would use in the athletic training room. Um, if somebody had an ankle sprain, you would put this on. Um, there's been one study looking at skin irritation and BFR. And I think it was only about 100 people, 98 people, something like that. And the people that use this underneath the cuff versus going on bare skin experience lot, much less skin irritation. I'm not usually too concerned about this unless I have an older individual who um, has some uh, thinner skin or I'm afraid that it's going to um, irritate their skin. Or patients will tell you like, hey, I did it last time and it really irritated my skin. So you go, okay, well, let me put something underneath it. Or they should wear something tight like yoga pants or, um, you know, like an Under Armour tight kind of shirt. Okay. All right. So before I touch anything else, I'll just wipe my nose. I'm going to clean my hands here. <clears throat> so a couple options. Number one option is to use something like this. These are these are disposable germicidal surface wipes. I can take my cuff and minimum between each patient, I can take it and I can rub these down to clean them all up. So I would just rub this all down real well between patients. The other thing that I would rub really well most of the time my patients are doing their own inflation deflation. So I would rub down everything that's in contact. I would rub down my Doppler. Thank you. 
And I'm also going to rub down my pump. So this will dry and then we are good to go. Of course, right now I'm on total precaution. So I'm using gloves with everything that I'm doing, um, especially uh, direct patient care, any type of manual therapy that I'm doing. Um, that port portion of my clinic is totally, sh pretty much shut down. I think I only have a couple patients today, a couple patients tomorrow that are kind of emergency cases. Um, we're also using skin surface, I don't know if you can see it, temperature thermometer um, to make sure, clear everybody that, that might have a, that might have a fever coming into the clinic. Okay, second way to do this. Now this is just in between patients. This is not my kind of normal after the end of the day protocol. Um, the other thing that I use, spray bottle. This is what I will clean my tables with as well, called Clavicide, C-L-A-V-I-C-I-D-E. -I -I -E. And it's um, there's a mixture between Clavicide and water. I keep this full. I could also spray down my cuffs with, um, with this or put this directly onto a towel. Um, right now with all the craziness, I like this disposable wipes better because uh, then it's not on the towel or um, just trying to keep everybody safe. Now, what we're going to do at the end of the day is you're going to take these puppies, you're going to take them to the sink, and you are going to wash them with some soap and water. And you're going to just use your hands. Never put these in the dishwasher. Never, ever, ever put them into uh, the washing machine. Um, then once it's all clean, I'll just hang them to dry. They're just gonna hang. I don't know if you can see, I've got a little, this is kind of my hanging rack back here. And so it'll just hang. And by the next morning, it's all good to go. Now, the more you wash these things, see this little O-ring right here. This O-ring, the more that it's wet, will dry out faster. So what will happen, you'll know this thing is dried out because when you go to connect your pump, you'll depress the little gauge, you hear the little click, and then you go to try to put it on, and it's really, really difficult. And you're like, God, oh, it's broken. I can't get it on. And people try to force it, and then they either break the stem or they break the pump. So if it has to force on, don't do that. You're just gonna take I've got my emollient that I use for my manual therapy and active release technique and instrument assisted. And I just take a little tiny bit of this. So very small amount. And I'm just going to put it right on that O-ring. And now when I go to connect this, super easy, super smooth. And I would recommend doing that before it's too hard to get it on, um, especially if you're washing these like all the time, like crazy. So um, it doesn't have to be massage lotion. It could be a little bit of Vaseline. It could be a little bit of just some sort of emollient, um, but massage lotion or massage gel works really easy. Just don't use so much that you, you know, do anything to the valve. You know, don't, don't get it full of muck because that's where the air has to go in. But now easy peasy, it just goes straight on. Okay. So any questions about cleaning? I would recommend cleaning between patients. Well, let me summarize. Number one, clean your cuffs uh, or to keep them clean, do them directly over clothes, not on skin. If they don't have clothes that are reasonable, um, a guy walks in with a tank top and you're gonna do upper, upper body, then what you would use is a two ply tensor uh, bandage, um, four inch, tubular bandage for the upper extremity, 
um, six inch for the lower extremity, and then you can just trim them to length. Um, six and eight inches seems to be enough for most people, uh, larger for the lower extremity. Then you're gonna clean them anyway between patients. You're gonna spray them down uh, using either uh, clavicide um, or some other disinfectant that you've already currently use, or you can use some of these types of um, disposable germicidal surface wipes, which I like. Um, then you are going to wash them every day and you're gonna wash them every day using soap and water, hang dry and never put them in the dishwasher or in the washing machine. And you should be good to go. Remember that this material, believe it or not, this material back here is the most expensive portion of this cup. It's, um, it's basically like a wetsuit. So it's antimicrobial, antibacterial. So it's, it should be super clean anyway. But right now we just can't take any, 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 any risks whatsoever. So I thought that was an appropriate um, conversation to have. I don't know if I've ever done that before, at least in this type of a setting. Um, does anybody have any questions for me? Okay, if not, uh, appreciate y'all and I'll be back next week. Um, even if we are on shutdown, I will still be presenting whatever I'm finding in regards to blood flow restriction training. So thanks a lot. Reach out to me if you need to. Um, and we will talk soon. Bye for now.